you're welcome back to another interesting video today i'll be sharing with you how i made this beautiful mesh dress for my daughter what i'll be showing with you in this video is how to turn the neckline and armhole using a bias tape how to create gathers or ruffles with a black head sewing machine without a gathering foot and how to sew on an applique to a dress so if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe and also turn on the notification bell as on this channel what i do is show you how to create or make clothes from the comfort of your home so first of all i'll be cutting out the down part of the dress that is the gathered part of the dress i'll be marking out six inches from the length of the dress that i'm you know working with the length of the dress for my daughter so i'll be marking out six inches so i'll go ahead and cut as many as i can from for these ruffles because i want it to be full so here i've already folded my fabric into two and i'll go ahead and fold it again into four and i'll be folding it in a triangle form so here i'll make sure that i have the measurement of the shoulder divided by two and for my daughter is six inches so i'll go and make sure i have that six inches there and i'll mark it out here i'll be coming down by 0 0.5 inches for the shoulder slope and for the neck width i came in by 2.75 inches but if you're making marking for your daughter or making yours work with the neck width you are working with or the measurement you are working with so here i'll be coming down by her armhole measurement divided by two and what i'll be doing is that i won't be slanting this to that point there i'll just go ahead and mark a straight line down like that if you don't know how to take body measurement for kids i have a detailed video on that just click up the link here and you can watch how to make uh, take a body measurement for kids so i'll create the armhole curve and i'll go ahead and take down the length of the dress for me here i'm working with 24.5 inches so i'll go ahead and mark out the 24.5 inches all the way around the dress or the hem <coughs> and for the neck depth i marked out three inches here but i would advise for you to mark out two inches because what i notice is that the the net that i'm working with is kind of stretching and because it's stretchy it really affected that neckline for me because i was folding the length of the dress the length of the dress was on the stretchy part of the net i would have placed the stretchy part of the net to be on the circumference but because i was managing my net i placed it out and the let the stretchy part was on the length which really affected my the outfit of the dress but if you're making yours be careful add your seam sewing allowance to the shoulder line and of course remove the back to trim off the front neck line so i'll be coming down by three inches on the back pattern piece the center back and i'll go ahead and slit open this i want to create a kind of loop you know for the head to be able to pass through the the dress so that's just it let's get down to the sewing part so here on my machine i'll be showing you how to stitch down this net using a french seam yes it's called a french seam i don't know maybe some of you guys would have you would know or would be familiar with this particular seam some will not know what a french seam is called but making a french seam instead of place, placing your fabric like right sides together you go ahead and place the fabric wrong sides together first then you go ahead and stitch it down using 0 0.25 inches make sure to back stitch So after st stitching down the shoulder measurement using 2.5 inches, 0 .2 0 0.25 inches, I mean to say, I'll go ahead and flip this now to the wrong right side, the right sides facing each other, and I'll go ahead and hold it down like you see me doing, and I'll go ahead and stitch it down again. And while stitching, I'll make sure that the allowance inside that is not that is not showing. So once I finish sewing it down, this is the wrong side and this is the right side, you see? It comes out neat. So I'll go ahead and do the same thing for the other shoulder. 
So after doing it for the bow shoulder, I want to turn uh, the armholes and all that, the neckline with a bias tape. I don't have this uh, army green uh, bias uh, at home, so I'll be making use of red. So on this wrong side of the fabric, the one with the allowance, I'll be stitching down the bias because I want the bias to be showing at the right side of the fabric. So I'll go ahead and stitch it to the wrong side of the fabric. So I'll place it down like so to my sewing machine and I'll go ahead and stitch down this bias. It's, or, it's a one inch bias or half inch bias. So I'll go ahead and make sure that I stitch it down on that folded line. I'll go ahead and stitch it on the folded line. So I'll stitch it all the way through the armhole. So once you finish stitching it down, go ahead and trim off the excess that you have. And what I'll be doing now is that I'll go ahead and you know flip this to the right side and I'll go ahead and top stitch on the bias. I'll go ahead and top stitch on this bias. So after top stitching, this is what I have. This is the wrong side, while this is the right side of the fabric. So I'll go ahead and do the same thing for the other shoulder. So after doing it for the other shoulder, I went ahead to do it for the neck as well. So what is left for me now is the back slit. Yes. So what I'll do is that I'll turn it to the wrong side of the fabric. And of course, I'll get my bias tip again. And what I'll be doing is that I'll be stitching it down just like we did while doing the armhole, but I'll have a little extra up here. So make sure that your needle is down and go ahead and do a little cut there it will make the the net to be or the line to be straight to make it to be kind of straight so I'll just go ahead and complete the sewing cut out and leave a little extra up there so what I'm doing now is that this is what it looks like so far I could just go ahead and leave it curved like that but let's finish it up first I'll go ahead and finish it up out of stitch to the bias. So guys, after top stitching to the bias, this is what I have. So what I'll be doing now is that I'll go ahead and uh, I'll go ahead and I could leave this like this. It will be kind of curve at the back like this or I could just go ahead and give it a little stitch so I'll go ahead and fold it into two like that and I'll get the center of the that is the center back I'll get this place like this and I'll go ahead and do a little top stitch like that in a triangle form or triangle just watch carefully you see what I'm talking about I'll go ahead and give sew it down a couple of stitch and I'll just remove it So after stitching it down, I have this kind of V shape here. So that's just it. So to finish off this particular one, what I'll be doing is that I'll be adding my elastic because I'll be closing here up with a button and elastic. So I want the elastic to be on my right hand side. So I'll be using one inch elastic, uh, half inch elastic, of course, and I'll go ahead and fold in my bias like that. That is why I have that excess there. And I'll go ahead and of stitch
So once I finish stitching it down, you see the elastic is securely tight there. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and fold here down and I'll complete this stitch to keep it in place. So after doing that, I could go ahead and tack the button or I could finish the dress after I'll tack the button. So I'll go ahead and stitch down the sides. That is the side seams, the sides of the dress. So I'll hold them down wrong sides together because I want to finish everything off using a French seam. So I'll go ahead and fold, hold it right side, the front, the wrong sides together. And after stitching it down, I could have excess fabric here. So what I'll do is that I'll go ahead and trim off the ones that are out there. I'll go ahead and trim it off. And what I'll do is that I'll turn this to the to the wrong side because of course I stitch to the right side so I'll turn it to the wrong side and I'll fold it in like that so now I'm stitching down right sides facing right sides and I'll go ahead and uh, stitch it down again and while stitching down make sure that your seam allowance is not showing it's not going to show that you are uh, whatever you're sewing that your seam allowance is securely is secured inside the allowance that is not going to be showing to the right side of the fabric so after stitching it down this is what i have so far let me turn it for you so that you see what it looks like so guys this is it this is called french seam it is mostly used if you are sewing net uh, if you're making a mesh top and all that this is the particular seam they used to make uh, net. So I'll go ahead and stitch down the other side. But before I do that, let's add the applique to the dress. So on this particular one, I have this applique already cut out since when I made this ball gown. There's this ball gown that I made. Uh, if you want to watch the video, you can click here and I'll also place the link on the description box. So here, I've already ironed and interfacing and I cut out the flower. In case after cutting out and you notice the fabric is fraying, you can go ahead and use your candle to, you know, smooth the edges. If you have a, what is it called, laser or something like that, you can use it to remove the fray, the frays. Watch the, if you want to watch how the bogan was made, in that video I showed how to cut out this, uh, this applique or this pattern or this patchwork, whatever it is called. So I'll just go ahead and stitch down the flower or the petal. I'll go ahead and stitch it down where I want it to be. So after stitching it down, this is it. I'll remove my pin and of course I'll cut out the threads. So that is just it here. And after that, I'll go ahead and sew the other side seam. So after sewing the side seam, I have the ruffles that I'll be, you know, for the down, I also joined the net using that same French seam. So here I'll be creating gathers. If you have a gathering fold, here is where you'll be needing it. But if you don't have a gathering fold and you are using a blackhead sewing machine just like me, this is how I create my own ruffles. This is how I create my own gathers. I'll just go ahead and just hold it down with my fingers like that and I'll go ahead and stitch it down. I know it's kind of hard but what choice do I have? So here now I'll be creating the ruffles or the gathers and for this particular dress for it to be full you need to cut out as much ruffle as you can. You can just go ahead with the circumference of the down of the dress before joining the ruffles you can go ahead and multiply it by five by six it depends on how full you want the net to be so this is it i've already i'm almost done uh, creating my own ruffles yeah so that's just it so after creating the ruffles we we'll go ahead and join it to the upper part of the dress so i have my upper part of the dress here so I'll get it the right side of the upper part of the dress and the right side of my ruffles facing each other. So I'll go ahead and just go ahead and start somewhere. 
just make sure that this right side facing right side i'll go ahead and start there and i'll just stitch it down and i'll go ahead and stitch it down all the way round just be careful you know this net is light so i will just be careful and it's kind of stretchy too so it's a little a bit hard for me but we are here so that is just it i've finished uh, i'm almost done i add attaching the upper part to the down part of the dress and that is just it for this tutorial i'll go ahead and add my buttons where it's supposed to be and if there is light i'll go ahead and give it a good press so that everything will come out nice and flat so that is just it for this particular tutorial if you find if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and also turn on the notification bell so that you'll be not get notified each time i post a new video if there is any question you'd like me to answer comment down below happy sewing